Hey, welcome back. In this lesson, I'll show you how to create some folds uh, on the clothing using reference. So these are the you know the finished pants with the laces, um, and uh, I'll just show you. This is kind of what we had in the last uh, in the last lesson. So I'll show you how to create those kind of folds on there. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use Spotlight to bring in some textures. So I'm going to turn, uh, I'm going to import, say one of these, okay, I'm going to click it and add it to Spotlight, hit comma to close the uh, light box, and Z to turn off that little wheel. So you can see all these cool uh, Things and you could find uh, you can find a lot of this stuff on like Zappos or Amazon uh, where they have clothing and then they just show it from every different angle. It's really really useful for modelers. So under brush, I'm going to go down and uh, under samples, I'm going to turn off spotlight projection because I'm not going to be projecting this. I'm just using it for reference. And now I can draw on my model without um, just kind of using that as a reference. And if I want to make it you know less uh, opaque, I can. Uh, hit Z and just turn the opacity on and off, hit Z again and then go back to work. So I'm going to turn, uh, I'm going to turn uh, uh, symmetry off for this and I just want to look at the curves that are happening here and uh, this is one of those times when standard brush is your best friend um, because it's, it's just really good for this. Now by default I want to show you my settings here. I have lazy mouse turned on mm. lazy mouse is under stroke lazy mouse I'm going to turn the lazy step down which means that it's going to give me more brushes more dots per line and when I do that it's going to become super strong. So to compensate for that, I have to turn the intensity, the intensity down, not to two, maybe something like six. Okay. So now I have this kind of flowy stroke, and I'm just going to start mapping these these strokes in. Now, depending on what you're doing, you don't like I. For me, I didn't put them all the way down the leg. I kind of put them up in the crease because. Um, I didn't want to, I mean, just for design reasons, but uh, you can adjust your reference like that. And you could see just with the light touch how easily that effect is created. And then you just go in with shift and blend it in. So you can lay down your your lines with, uh, with your standard brush and then just shift to blend in the edges. So see how these kind of like blend in on the edges. Once you get ones you're happy with you can go over the top of them to sharpen them up a little bit. Hit shift in between them to kind of soften the transition from one to the next. Try and just reproduce some of the ones that are actually happening here. We could see this, so maybe I'll try another material just to make it easier to see. I don't know. Uh, Matte cap gray. I don't know if that's any easier. And uh, so for this, reference is super important. Um, after a while, if you get 
you know, there's there's certain times when uh, finding reference just becomes such a pain in the butt that uh, I just go in and and wing it, you know. Uh, but especially uh, when you're starting out, uh, as much reference as you can uh, for cloth, and then you'll you'll develop this kind of like internal language of how the cloth behaves. Just going to continue sculpting this stuff for for the rest of the lesson, so you can kind of watch. Okay, and then to add some realism to these, um, I'm just going to lower them in a little here and maybe raise them up around the edges. Just want to make everything a little bit uneven, a little disturbed. Can use your move tool to kind of do a little bit of that. And you'll be amazed how much little things like that just add so much to your model. See that? How the light hits that? It already gives it kind of a more of a realism. And then for the bra, I'll show you how I did those uh, kind of pleating uh, scalloped effect. Um, let's see here, I'm going to turn off that bra. I'm going to turn off my spotlight. And for this, I just, uh, it's really kind of cheesy. I used Damien Standard. That's a little too strong. Divide it first, give it a little more detail. It's a little too deep. I guess when I was doing this, the bra was already a little thicker. But this is basically what I did. Damien standard brush. And then once that was done, I kind of circled because Damien standard brush is like standard brush, but it does uh it also uh pinches. So you get these cool little effects on the ends where it's actually kind of pinching together. And then I just went in with the move tool and kind of exaggerated that to create this kind of scalloping effect. All right, I hope that was informative. In the next lesson, we'll be uh, we'll be in the next lesson. Oh yeah, creating a fishnet. All right, thanks for watching.